Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today is a special day. We're excited to announce our new series where we discuss and go over real estate math questions. That's right, real estate math questions that show up on the real estate exam. So how does this work? Well, I'm going to explain the questions, work through the math, and hopefully help you with these difficult questions. Of course, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below. And if you want to try these questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe and that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today and this week, we're starting off with 28 by 36 rule questions. These are pretty straightforward and hopefully by the end of these videos, you'll get the hang of it. All right, so let's take a look at this one. So utilizing the 28 by 36 rule, if Marty's gross income is $5,500 a month, he would need to spend less than blank in housing costs a month to qualify for most loans. And it gives us four options. A, $1,200. B, $1,540. C, $1,996. Or D, $5,500. All right, so as always, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an opportunity to pause here, or gonna give you guys some time to just do the math problem, do the problem yourself. So go ahead and do that right now and come up with your answer. All right, hopefully you guys came up with your answer. Uh, if you need more time, feel free to pause again or pause here and uh, work out the problem. All right, so what is our answer? The answer is going to be B, that's right. It is $1,540. So how did we get that? What's up with these problems? Well, let's break them down. So according to the 28 by 36 rule, he would need to spend less than $1,540 dollars in housing costs a month to qualify for most loans. How did we get that? Well, in most 28 by 36 problems, you multiply by 0.28 or 0.36. In this problem, we need to multiply by 0.28. So why 0.28 and not 0.36? Well, because the question gives us their monthly income and it's asking about housing costs. That's right, housing costs. It's so important, I'm gonna go ahead and underline it right here. <laughs> and I encourage you guys to do the same thing come test day too. Uh, don't be afraid to underline them. Okay, enough of a tangent. Anyway, <laughs> so housing costs. So in most problems, again, you're gonna be multiplying by 0.28 or 0.36. Remember, if it's housing costs, then you multiply by 0.28. If it's asking about total household debt, then you would multiply by 0.36. Does that make sense? So again, it's just two different types of problems. Sometimes it'll be by 0.28, sometimes it'll be by 0.36, and you just have to kind of diagnose which problem is which, and then you know you could do the math after that. So we're gonna be taking our gross income, which again is this $5,500, and then we're gonna be multiplying that by the 0.28. So let's do that right now. So we got our 5,000, $500, multiply that by 0.28. And guess what? We're gonna be getting $1,540. That's right. And guess what? That is our answer. So really, when we're talking about the math in this problem, there isn't much math. It's one problem. It's a simple multiplication problem. But the difficult part to these questions is kind of dissecting the question and figuring out what it's asking. So I guess if I were to tell you guys what the two steps of solving these problems would be, the first step would be identifying the problem, and then the second step would be actually doing the math to go with the problem itself. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So why is this important? Well, if you guys are not familiar with the 28 by 36 rule, I'll give you guys a little bit of a brief uh, intro and you know background on it. Uh, the point of this is it's a useful tool. It's a tool for agents 
to work with the clients to determine what loans they can qualify for. Uh, it's a great tool for just individuals who are trying to figure out, you know, what kind of housing options they have, you know, depending on their gross income. And the 28 by 36 rule states a household should spend a maximum of 28% of its gross monthly income on total housing expenses and no more than 36% on total debt service. So they came up with this rule and it's a great tool and uh, that rhymes a little bit rule tool, <laughs> but it's a great tool for again, real estate agents or individuals, but where does it actually come up? Now, granted, as I mentioned, it's a tool and it is used often, but lenders, lenders is where it really comes up and it really becomes important. Why? Because lenders typically want no more than 28% of your gross monthly income to go toward your housing expenses, including your mortgage payment, property taxes, insurance, which we'll get a little bit more into that a little bit later, probably uh, later this week. And then of course, when we're talking about uh, the debt, you know, they don't want that to exceed 36% of your gross income. So they take these numbers and they determine whether you could qualify for a loan for, you know, a certain amount of price for a certain house. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, and this is, if this is new to you guys, you know, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below. I know this is uh, kind of a tricky topic to kind of grasp, especially when uh, you have to decide, is it a 0.28 or 0.36 and all that stuff. So, but that's what we're here for. We're going to go through more of these questions throughout this week. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, this is the first one of the series. If you have any feedback, please leave it down below. Um, you know, I'm all about the feedback here on my channel. So go ahead and ask, ask away, suggest away, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, hit us up with a thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. I'll see you next time.